You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980. My name is Les Brown, and and we thank you so much for joining us. We we come your way from two o'clock until four o'clock, and and as you listen to my voice, the very sound of my voice will drive away the negative thoughts and doubts that's been holding you back and blocking your personal power. As you listen each day, you will grow by leaps and bounds. And today, I, I'm inviting you to to join me in celebrating the personal victories. I think all of us have some areas in our lives where sometimes we stop and we reflect and we think about this thing called life and say, you know, what really matters? What really matters? And really what brought me to that this this past weekend, a friend of mine named Greg Council has passed and he was it was on this past Saturday around three o'clock. And so in less than a year, Keith Harrell, who wrote a book called Attitude is Everything, John Austin and and um, and Greg Council Two great, talented speakers and Jim Rowan in less than a year have lost these friends of mine. And I've been thinking and and looking at my life and asking what matters. And, you know, there's a book called The Bucket List. And, and part of what I decided to do, part of my bucket list, I, I've been writing down who are the people that really matter. If I knew that I had a limited time on the planet, who would I spend more time with? Who would I spend less time with? Who would I not give the time of day to if I knew I had a limited time on the planet? Have you ever given some thought to that? And what are some of the things that I would do that I would value that I haven't done? And so part of what I've I've done is one start focusing on some things that that I want to do in my life and that is to get my life more in order. Because the it's when I read a book on cluttering and it said whatever you your environment is reflection of your state of mind. When I looked at my environment, I said I must be completely crazy. <laughs> and I mean that's including the stuff that I have in the closet and all the drawers and stuff I just I haven't seen and just holding on to it doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what they are. And I I just made a decision about five days ago. I'm tired of this. This stuff I'm dragging from city to city and and stuff that I just have in garages and 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 storage and and if you said what's in here I don't know but I've been holding on to it like it's like it's a part of my body or something and I said there's something wrong with this 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 if this is a reflection of my internal if my external is a reflection of my internal it starts making me think what's going on and so I've been focusing on taking care of me, of getting to know different parts of myself that I thought I knew, and part of that is to get clutter out of my life. And I'm five days (laughs) clutter-free. I'm proud of that. Will somebody call me up and say, if you don't even have if you don't have a personal victory, I want you to call me and say, Les Brown, you ought to be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you, Mamie Brown's baby boy. The number to call is 888-539-2980. Give me some encouragement. Inspire me. Motivate the motivator. And I want to know what what personal victory have you today that you can celebrate? Something that you've decided. Maybe it was just to drive out to the beach and get a blanket and lay out in the sand or to spend some or you know what I do now my daughter one of my daughters gave me a coloring book and I said Samantha why did you give me this and she said dad I just think you ought to use it and guess what I color now and I enjoy it I feel like a little kid and I can beat most kids coloring too yes I do little Hadassah she's like seven or eight years old and she said well you could just do that as good as you do it because you're an adult I said you're supposed to be better than me and you are not (laughs) she's got attitude because I can beat her coloring but I you know we, we we I I'm finding my center I guess I I guess that's that's what I'm saying and so I want to know what is it that you're doing to get back to you, to connect with your personal power, to begin to to get the energy drainers out of your life. I'm not on the phone as much. I, I, I want to be present in my own life. And when I'm with people, I don't want to be answering the telephone. I turn the phone off when I'm with people that mean something to me. I turn the phone off. Off. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to answer the phone doing dinner and doing lunch and when I'm having conversations with people that are significant with me. I'm practicing on being present rather than being busy. Am I making sense to you on this? 
I want you to call me and let me know some personal victory you have. The number to call is 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne. Thank you so much for calling. What, what's your welcome. personal victory that you're celebrating today? I deal with a lifetime chronic very, very painful neuropathy issue. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, I railed against my body, and I just fought back. Yes. And I finally have decided that my days on this earth are limited, mm -hmm. and I needed to make peace with my body. Yes. And I needed to make peace with myself and quit fighting and just accept being here now. And mm. be grateful and find the gratitude in every day. And it's hard. Yes, but it is. I am so much calmer and I'm so much more thankful and I'm so much more centered and present in exactly where I am. That, and, and good for you. And, and I celebrate you. Congratulations. There's a book I'd like to share with you. And this is one of my mentors, Rachel Naomi Remy. And it's, her book is called Kitchen Table Wisdom. Um, she has Crohn's disease, and she's a phenomenal human being. Has had several operations, and you know, I I live with chronic pain myself. I, yeah, that's no fun. Yes, and so no, it is not. But uh, since listening to Howard Thurman and reading Rachel Naomi Remy book Kitchen Table Wisdom, I've been leaning into it. I decided that I was not going to allow the pain to have its way with me anymore. That's right. You take control and you decide to live life anyway. Absolutely. And so the breathing and through self-hypnosis and visualization and yes. prayer and meditation. Uh, yes, I'm I'm in the driver's seat. Well, thank you so much. And I celebrate you on that, Suzanne. Thank you. And thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, bye now. Bye. The number to call is 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. We're celebrating the personal victories in life. Suzanne said, pain is no longer going to get the best of me. Hello, how are you, Nancy? Fine, hi. Hi, thank you so much for calling. What What are you celebrating? I'm celebrating, well, in a, I'm celebrating that I can let my mother's death go. Mm, that's powerful. We're going to take time for a break. I want to talk to you about that because okay. she's with my mother right now, all right? Yes, Hold on just is. a minute. My mother's fixing us some sweet potato pie. That's right. <laughs> that's a great thing. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Listen, we're talking about celebrating personal victories today. And, and Suzanne saying about she's not allowing pain to handle her. She's handling it. And we're going to be talking with Nancy very shortly. The number to call is 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. My name is Les Brown, and you're listening to KFWB News Talk 980.